Alright, today we're going to learn how to ghetto any speaker into a Bluetooth speaker. This is a speaker I bought off of eBay for probably about six, eight dollars or something like that. Um, it's pretty basic, it's got this completely ridiculous flashing LED thing which is what you get in all your USB Christmas trees and all that sort of stupid stuff. Um, nothing too major, though it does have a built-in uh, MP3 player, hence the USB and the micro SD. Now the USB thing, that's kind of the important part, the other one is line in. Now this doesn't have Bluetooth built in from the get-go, so what we need to add to that is a Bluetooth dongle and a three and a half millimeter to three and a half millimeter stereo cable. So what we need to do is plug your cable in, in this case because there's bug rule clearance. Now this has got USB which means 5 volt, so dongle in, 3.5mm into the top of that, that should give us our uh, Bluetooth pairing, so, so we go to flashing lights. Now I've already paired this with my mobile phone, <clears throat> which is here so what we can now do is press play and minus the ads or anything else we should have music See, completely wireless now the only problem with this is I've I can't keep playing that or we're gonna get in trouble because of YouTube uh, copyrights and stuff but yeah, it looks uh, looks ridiculously uh, pink, ever ever so slightly uh, hair gown, but that is now a self-powered Bluetooth speaker. So it doesn't have to be one of these little cubes. Um, in fact, it could be any kind of USB-powered device or a, a device with a USB port that accepts uh, USB playback. Say. Pioneer and Onkyo and a few other brands now do amplifiers that play USB directly off uh, a plug-in port on the front. They've also got right next door to that an input jack for, um, oh, they, it's called AOX in, or auxiliary in now. Um, see, these cables have now been rebranded as UX cords, which I think is a completely stupid way of describing them. They're a three and a half millimeter to three and a half millimeter stereo headphone plug thing. Um, Ux cord just sounds wrong to me. It's kind of modern, but yeah, it just sounds wrong. Um, but yeah, pretty much it's, if you've got a USB socket, this goes for a lot of televisions too, because a lot of them have a USB socket for service or uh, for running uh, USB storage for uh, recording TV shows and things like that off the air. Uh, also, uh, Foxtel or cable TV boxes. Um, in other countries, that'd be your Skybox or a few others. There's always a USB port handy to plug one of these dongles into. Then, basically, any audio source that you can feed into... Um, oh, any, any device that's got auxiliary input to take this or this to a pair of RCAs goes into your amplifier. Um, and then you just Bluetooth from a phone or whatnot, and off you go. You've got yourself a DIY Bluetooth whatever. That way you don't have to spend $400 on those stupid little tiny USB uh, USB recharged uh, Bluetooth speaker things that are being sold at the moment, especially those little ones with the little lights that go up and down and stuff. They're a little bit too much. Just, yeah. That's all you need. Nothing too major. Just a, a, an amplifier, a USB power supply, a cable to make it all happen, and a little Bluetooth dongle. These things are about $4 off eBay, so they're not expensive. The rest of it's up to you.